As our BHAT test suite relies on being able to dog food our own API in order to run, the most important and immediately urgent task is to get the post endpoint up and running. So we're going to make use of Foz Rest Bundle's automatic route generation facility to help speed up this process for us. This means that we must follow a set of conventions for our controller method names, but if you prefer, as covered in the previous video, manually configured routing is available. So we'll need a few bits in place. We're going to need a new controller class for our album entity. We're going to need the Foz Rest Bundle routing setup. And lastly, we're going to need our post action. So let's start by adding in our routing setup to config routes.yaml. As with any Symfony routing definition, we need to name this group of routes. You can use any name you like, as far as I'm aware. Here I'm using the singular album. You could also use albums or pretty much anything else that you'd like. We'll specify the type of these routes as being rest. More on that in a second. And as we aren't defining individual routes here, we're instead defining those inside our controller class, we need to help the router determine where it can find our configured routes. In our case, it's going to be in our album controller. So whilst not essential to know about, you may be wondering what this type of rest is in our routing definition. So this is a custom root loader. The type of rest is specific to FOS rest bundle. We can see this if we look in the vendor directory under Friends of Symphony the rest bundle, take a look in the routing directory under the loader, and there we have the rest root loader. And if we scroll down through here, we'll see that this rest root loader class supports routing resources of the type of rest. There's an entire page on this in the documentation, and indeed FOS rest bundle is used as an example here. A custom root loader is going to enable us to generate routes based on some convention or pattern. And as we'll see momentarily, as long as we follow the expected convention, FOS rest bundle is going to be able to automatically generate the right routes for us with very little extra effort on our part. In other words, this is going to save us some time at the expense of a little extra complexity behind the scenes. Now, as I've said, you don't ever need to go behind the scenes, but if you'd like to, then this is where you'd start. Okay, so we've set up our routing and we've told it about this album controller, but we don't yet have that. So let's create the album controller now. If you've installed the maker bundle, then it's a Bing console make controller album. And if you don't have the maker bundle, then you're going to have to set this up manually. You can find the starting point in the show notes. It's very similar to our health check controller. All we need to begin with is a class that extends the FOSREST controller provided by FOSREST bundle. Now let's define our post handling route. We need to use a very specific controller method name here. Post is the HTTP verb that we want to implement. Album is our resource. And of course, action is the suffix that we have to use when working with FOS REST bundle. I mentioned this specifically as in Symfony 4 controllers, you don't actually need the action suffix anymore, but with FOS REST bundle, you still do. Just by following this controller method naming convention, FOS REST bundle has configured a route for us that explicitly only matches incoming post requests. Notice also that Foz Rest Bundle has guessed at our root name. This uses a different convention to the Symphony 4 standard annotation based root naming. Now I personally think that the Symphony 4 format of app underscore for our own app namespace and then for example health check for our controller name and underscore get for the root method is tidier. Also notice that the root path is pluralized and it's added the potentially unusual though optional format placeholder. Now we can fix all of these things, even though technically they're not broken. This is simply the suggested convention from Foz Rest Bundle, and we can buy into all, some, or very little of it. Now, personally, I don't like the controller method name of post album action. In order to gain the benefit of Foz Rest Bundle's automatic route generation, we'd need to have all our routes follow this naming convention. So we'd have things like get album action, put album action, delete album action, and so on. Now, Fuzz Rest Bundle allows us to remove the resource name from our controller methods as long as our controller class implements the class resource interface. And with that simple change, we can update our controller method names to my preferred standard, which is simply post action. I think this is really nice. Now, my next preference is for singular endpoints. So slash album, not slash albums. I don't know why, I just prefer it. Now, again, Fuzz Rest Bundle can do this for us. We need to annotate our album controller. And in order to do this, we're going to use the provided root resource from Foz Rest Bundle. The root resource annotation takes two options, the resource name itself, and also whether to pluralize the generated root. In our case, the resource name is going to be album singular, and I'm going to set pluralization of the root to be false. This means any root generated inside this controller will be album rather than albums. 
Now it's worth taking a quick look at the root resource annotation. Like most things in PHP Storm, if you control or command click, you'll be taken to the implementation. You can see that we take two options here, the resource name itself, and whether to pluralize that resource or not. The resource in our case is our album. It needn't be an entity. It can be anything that you're exposing on your API. And pluralize determines whether the given resource name will be pluralized when the root is generated. Now this is quite clever. So let's take a look at the album controller again. And if we set our album resource to be called albums, but we've still got pluralize of false, sending a Bing console debug router, our resource name has been used here to generate our root name and our root looks pluralized even though we explicitly set it to false. Now if we set it to true, then you may be thinking we're gonna get another S on the end or something, but we don't. And the code behind why we don't, so let's just open up the vendor, friends of Symphony FOSRES bundle directory. We need to look inside the inflector and take a look at the doctrine inflector. And so we defer off to doctrines inflector implementation I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not delved too deeply into the meaning of things like inflectors and so on. You can see if we do follow this through, the code to figure out whether to pluralize or not is, shall we say, fairly involved. And I'm grateful I didn't have to write that. But yeah, playing around with these various settings does give us a variety of functionality. So I thought it was worth a quick detour there. Now there's one extra thing that I'd like to get rid of from my roots, and that's the format placeholder. In order to do this, we're going to need to add configuration to the config packages FOSREST YAML file. Again, just to quickly recap, taking a look at the output of a Bing console debug router, you can see that format placeholder on the end of the generated route. The only format that we will be supporting is JSON. If you ever need to support XML or something else, then FOSREST bundle can support this. Now to change this, we need to alter the config packages FOSREST YAML. Now the default config for FOSREST bundle can be found the same way any bundle configuration can be found inside Symfony with the Bing console config colon dump hyphen reference. If we pass in just the bundle name or the alias, then we'll dump out the entire config for that particular bundle. Now, as you can see, this is a heck of a lot of stuff. Now you can find all of this in the show notes and also in the full default configuration reference for which I have a link or you can just browse via symphony.com. Hidden amongst all of this is the routing underscore loader key. And by setting the include underscore format to false, we can remove this unwanted format placeholder from our generated route. I'm gonna add this specific configuration now into my config packages fos underscore rest dot yaml. Remembering to remove the tilde from next to the fos rest key at the very top. Otherwise our config won't be taken into effect. Now note that that little tilde at the top simply defines a null in YAML, and that means that we're gonna fall back to the default configuration. Okay, so with that configuration in place, if we check the output of a Bing console debug router, we should be able to see that the format placeholder has been removed from the generated route, which it has, which is good. Now note that our config isn't quite done yet, but one thing at a time. So let's try running our post test now. I'm gonna tag the post test with the tag of T, going to allow me just to run this one individual test and if we send this in well it's not unexpected that our test fails as we don't have any logic yet inside our post action method the test simply proves that we can hit the slash album endpoint with the post request and if we couldn't we'd see a 405 or a method not allowed error so that's the basic setup out of the way in the next video we're going to continue with the implementation of our post action method body